as requested by this comment, it's time for the disgraced celeb tier list. Let's get into it. Okay, we'll be ranking the celebs all the way from burning hell to let them off. First up, we have Prince Andrew, disgraced paedophile and member of the royal family. I choose to remember them in that order. I know this should go without saying, but on top of being a paedophile, he's an asshole. You know, did anyone see that interview? I'm sure you all did. But yeah, he's going straight in burning hell. You posh twat. Next up, we have everyone's favourite paedophile, Jimmy Savile. People say I look like him. I personally don't see it myself. For my American viewers, Jimmy Savile, heinous paedophile, presenter for years. Yeah, fiddled kids left and right, all the way from here to Scarborough. He's got to go burn in hell. He can light all the cigars he wants from down there. Did a lot for charity, though. Hmm. I think he's still in hell. Huh? No, no, no. In hell. Now, it's everyone's favourite dyke, Ellen DeGeneres. Bit of a weird one, really, because she got outed as just being a bit of a cunt. It's not sexual predator vibes, but I always knew it. I hate to be that guy. You can see it in her baby blue eyes. There's a demon behind there. She's not in hell for it. Just an arsehole boss. She's going bad decisions. Fair. She was also trying to give it at one point that um, that wasn't why her show was cancelled and rah, rah, rah. Load of bollocks, love. You were cancelled because you're an arsehole. Done. Ooh. Harvey Weinstein. Sexual predator vibes again. He's made some good movies. There's no doubt about it. But by the sounds of it, he's made some better home movies. You know what I mean? Porn. He wasn't a pedo like the other two in Burning Hell. So I think we'll put him on life sentence. His crimes are formidable, but they don't involve children. As far as I'm aware, correct me if I'm wrong. Louis C.K. I mean, I don't know if this is going to be controversial, but I don't have a problem with that. Basically, he busted him out in front of someone. You know, he liked to tug on his taffy in front of others. As far as I'm aware, all consensual, though. The worst kind of masturbation, in my opinion. What? I think you can turn a blind eye. I think you've got to... Let him off. Let him off. You know. There was something about him wanking off into a plant as well. But even so, you know, behind closed curtains. Do what you want, Louis. Good to see you back, buddy. Oh, Kevin Spacey. Probably the most talented on this list if I do say so myself, but groped underage boys, which I'm not for most of the time. So it's going to have to be burning hell. But American Beauty was good. Baby Driver. Five sentence. No, he's groping little young balls. I can't have him there. He's burning in hell for that. Allegedly. All allegedly. Like anyone's watching this shit. Oh, Big Phil Scoff. Now then, this might be another controversial opinion. A consensual relationship with a young man. It was the secrecy, the shrouding in the web of lies that let him down here. As far as I'm aware, he just liked him young, don't we all? He's going bad decisions with Ellen D. Ellen No D. Liam Neeson. Yeah, this was a thing when he said someone he knew had been killed by a black man. So he roamed the streets looking for a black man to beat up, I believe. Let's have a quick listen just to refresh our memories. <laughs> I'll tell you a story. This is true. I'm not going to use any names, but I was away in my came back and she told me she raped. had been raped. But she handled the situation of the rape in the most extraordinary way. But my immediate reaction was... I asked, did, they, did she know who it was? No. What colour were they? She said it was a black person. I went up and down areas with a cosh, hoping I'd be uh, approached by somebody. I'm ashamed to say that. And I did it for maybe a week, hoping some black bastard would come out of a pub and have a go at me about something, you know? Right, okay. Now we're all up to date on what happened there. <laughs> I think he's talking from a place of shame because he started with that. I don't think the black bastard comment was meant as that. I think it was a reflection on him at that time, showing his anger. However, you just can't... 
My friend got raped by a black person, so now I'm going on a manhunt for anyone black. He's an older fella. It's like some of my granddad would say that. He goes, bad decision. <laughs> bad decisions, mainly down to the phrasing, Liam. I think, yeah, not many people are on your wavelength with that, unfortunately. Rolf Harris. Tie me children down, sport. Tie me children down. Only joking, don't. Again, pedo. Familiar with down under. Ugh. That made me feel a bit sick. Good mates of Savile. So you can all burn in hell together, pal. How about that, Rolf? He looks a bit like Colonel Sanders. And I'm not going to make any reference to finger licking. Too easy. Ah, Kelly. There's a pattern with sexual predators. They're all hideous. Have you noticed? Maybe that has something to do with it. And R. Kelly's no exception. He's disgusting, he's vile, and he's burning in hell. Good records, though. I can separate the man from the art. You can go to hell, but Remix to Ignition can stay where it is. <laughs> that was it, disgraced celebs tier list. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments. As you can see, I follow through in more ways than one. We'll see you all next time. Thank you. Like, comment, sub, do your thing. We'll see you next time. God bless. Thanks for watching the Nothing Channel. Subscribe, go and treat yourself to another... <laughs>